saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a terror and corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We are lacking in intel. The guards will notice if we stray too far off. We should stick close to Japard. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The Architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam Kakolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> You may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome. Visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. <laughs> Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds and we discovered the endless possibilities of the Boundless Universe. We also came to know of Klepoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come.
We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Yeah, FYI, we're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here, and we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on! Oh, so cool! <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, Please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. 
Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabox History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna, but you can call me Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. Okay, guys, take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopan. It was they that foresaw a crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog. Preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength. And huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together. The gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbaric. Any questions? Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn, I wanted to see one. Oh, I've been wondering, you see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> You guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow, she's cool. Hi there, the name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Only just got here? Ah! I figured it out! I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor! Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. The 
radiator you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. Momentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... but my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass!
Got too much energy.
It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klipoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Nope, she seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first. But she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. After all, maybe there were armed bodyguards lying in ambush. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Is there anything left to do? But 
the vision. Break! Who will it be? Watch this awesome move! Rules are made to be broken. Getting late. Where to now? Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Ah, oh, you too. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Thank you. 
Who are you? What are you? We are allies. Allies of the God of the generations. What do you want? To There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Uh, I just have a feeling. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her, and no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? Suspect, stop running around and go see Commander Branya. Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Oh. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. It looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Gone on the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Three of a kind. Psst. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Uh. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. Well, you 
You can get good at getting lucky. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. It's getting late. Where to now?
done it without me. This will strengthen our position. Keep at it. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Entered from we should avoid an open uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate oh check this mechanism out look familiar yes we saw one in Serval's workshop we need to solve it before we run out of time the guards are right on our heels
You finally got some? when you're done wandering about. I should reintroduce myself. My name is Dan Hung. I'm the guard on the Express. I also administer the train's databank. I updated the databank entries today, if you wanted to look anything up. Hmm. Time to turn in already? Thanks for the reminder. It's easy to lose track of time in the archives. Before you know it, a whole day has gone by. See you tomorrow. I come from an alliance and was born on a grand and beautiful ship that I barely had the chance to see. I can never return. <laughs> At that time, I had nowhere to go but the Express. Cloud Piercer is always with me, for my safety and the safety of everyone else. It's not really a hobby, but I used to read a lot. If you're not there to look something up, then please don't enter the archives. <sighs> it's not a place for chit-chat. As vast as the universe is, it cannot change its past. Once there are sufficient records in the databank, the flow of individuals will link together seemingly independent events. March's weakness is that she likes to get involved in other people's business. Perhaps that's also her strength. If you have questions about the Express, Himiko can give you the best answer. Mr. Yang is a very compassionate person, but thankfully, he doesn't pry. My intuition tells me that it would be unwise to provoke the conductor.
Yeah. This will strengthen our position. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. here. Careful not to alert them. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first.
Fragmentum corrosion. This is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. <laughs> Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Who invited you? <laughs> no manners, huh? My turn! Everything is ordained by the star. Give these trailblazers your blessing! No interesting. Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers. Nice. 
Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! I don't remember! <laughs> My turn! Let's go. Back off! Rules are made to be broken! Let's make it quick. try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! I don't remember in- Stop right there! Clemency? Revealed in it, this sanctuary is but a vision! This girl's pretty strong! Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. the underworlders they will lose the protection of the architects they will see me as a tyrant you
toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sample. What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratched my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does wildfire get off assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl, get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over 10 years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? Right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? I bet you were mumbling something about Stellarons and wishes. I couldn't make sense of it. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> you're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely have to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years, but that guy owes me. You better bring me back some medicine. Sampo told me, don't worry, the Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. <laughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that wildfires wanted to achieve for a long time now. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her, but it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. 
in any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start? that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. Grounder, you know, who can never tell us fibs? Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is, but they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide and seek. Do you get it? Did 
you start being so nice. Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, shoot. Sure. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Mm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. performance. Uh. 
clocking off, finally. Fucking off.
there. credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? <laughs> you don't talk about it. Talk. Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Problems are just useless. Come with Hook. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh -huh. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an... We're here! This is it! I'm Hook's gonna go fight! See you later! But who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge, that too! Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. One more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Psst. My friend, looking for a ticket? Brothers and sisters, are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine tingling, earth shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Faron, given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic. Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter has one thing to say, WHATEVER! And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young. So you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fist of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, 
we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Clemency? Never heard of it. Who invited you? <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. No interest in No manner, huh? Let's go. Oh, what a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? <laughs> uh, forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, look! It's Sambo! Let's get after him. Too far. Let's search nearby. Freeze! I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Say that you saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends, what do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourselves? Hmm? He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. You know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten. But we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, 
I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silverman guards withdrew, Wildfire set up shop. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Well, Wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade, but do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a, what's that? Stellaron. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Zampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> so what does Wildfire do all day? By everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Joshua. What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most Undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. always out on patrol here at this time. What's Wildfire up to? Hmm. Are they avoiding me? Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like 
she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. Exactly! My boy, Cold Dragon Young. Uh, young Master Dan Hung speaks with reason. Zila, phew, it's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. <sighs> Shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the underworlders? The Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? What good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 